Hey YouTube, Incendar here once again. Just wanted to cover some basics on pets. If you're new or don't have pets, uh, they are one of the most high priority items. They help a lot when grinding. You can double your time not picking up items. Also good for life skillers for a couple different reasons. You know, grinding different mobs or using cats to find resources. So I'll just go over some benefits here. So the first thing about pets is we have all this loot. If we manually pick it up, it's going to take a lot of time. If we whip out our pets, you can see they're pretty quick. Just start picking up everything around. The rate at which they pick up is based on their tier, which I'll get into a little more a little later. But if you're seriously considering grinding up to the higher levels, you want to pick up four pets as soon as possible. The easiest way to get pets would be, of course, Pearl Shop. Under Pet, you'll notice there's a Halloween pet pack here for six pets. 4,400 pearls, so I think that's about 40 bucks. You can also buy individual pets here. Different pets give different special abilities. Desert Fox helps in the desert with hypo and hyperthermia. Pox will find elite mobs, dogs, hostile players. Another option is Marketplace. You can actually put some notices on these cats and try to pick it up this way. This could be time consuming since they're not always put up. You could try asking in general chat to get somebody to list it a little faster. I've gotten three or four free pets and it's kind of, I would say every other month, but the current one this current attendance reward daily event. On day 20, you get a penguin. Penguins are great for AFK fishing. I've gotten two free penguins. But if you don't have pets or you only have one or two, try to get four as soon as you can. It'll really speed things up. Another great benefit of pets is each one will have a different skill. You can see right now the list of skills I'm getting, but we can pull up an individual pet. So life experience 1%, karma recovery 3. Skill gain 1%. Alchemy 3%. Hawks are really good and were changed in a recent patch. They actually speed up your chance of obtaining knowledge and higher grade knowledge. That could be really huge for anybody that's trying to grind out energy and going through the ecology. Karma. Fishing level plus one on the hawk. Also pretty useful. Of course, my favorite penguins with the auto fishing. I'll notice on this penguin, luck level one. Getting luck up to five is, I think anyway, a huge difference in game. A lot of people will say like items like candy for the current Halloween event, you know, they'll farm for hours and not get any and then ask their luck and it's like one. I really think that does help in a lot of things in the game. And Penguin does have a good chance to get luck. I'll get more into these additional skills you get. You do get more as your pet levels up. And at the higher tiers, I got lucky on this hawk. Came in tier three. You'll also have uh, more skills here. So leveling up your pets is actually extremely important. You'll notice each time they go up a level, their cooldown on picking up loot is reduced. You can see this cat here is at 4 seconds. This is level 10, tier 1. 
If you're looking for pets just for looting, I would avoid the Hawk. I mean, there has been lots of reports that it's slower, and I do kind of think it's slower with the flying animations. So if you're just looking for loot, cat's pretty good, dog's a little slower. Penguin's pretty good too. To level up your pets, you'll actually start at level one. You'll notice they have a food bar. This will slowly go down. It should be uh, noted here that when they are hungry, they'll lose their special ability when they run out of food. So the cat will not find resources and the penguin will no longer help you with auto AFK fishing. The quickest and easiest way is just always keep the pets out and their hunger gauge will slowly deplete. You can go to any stable and actually buy Try pet food. Try across an open field on the back of a horse. It feels so nice. You can also make this with cooking or higher end food. Just go to marketplace, feed. First you have good feed. And then you'll have organic feed. You can actually buy that. It's quicker and you don't have to press the button as much, but really if you set up a hotkey, like down here I have the C button set to pet food, got the pets out. You'll notice if you try to do it from in your inventory, it's kind of slow if you set up that hotkey. notice all these guys are filling up and of course as you fill up you'll notice they'll get experience and start leveling up higher tier do seem to be a little slower in that regard and just to show you a pet ability a pickaxe you need to actually go through your pets and make sure that their special ability is turned on so pet command special see it lights up cat runs and we'll find a resource for whatever tool you have equipped. So cats are really great for life skill. One nice feature of pets that some people don't know about and have actually said, wow, that's a really great thing. You can actually, if you have all your pets out, you can just click this button to check them all in or here. Now, to breed your pet up to a higher tier, which will add more skills and make it pick up items a lot faster, you want to click Exchange. Choose the two pets. They have to be the same, so two penguins, two cats, or two Halloween pets. I'll look at the skills here. I don't really need farming, but this luck is huge, so I'm going to try to import this. When you uh, do an exchange of breeding of pets, the two original are destroyed and you get the next one. Your chances are up here in the top left of what you'll get. If they are level 10 and maxed out on their experience, there is some RNG here that'll help get you to the next tier, but it's not guaranteed. And in the upper right here, you'll see the different images of penguins. So these look the same. These are both free penguins. The one thing that I really should say here is you can lose your primary ability or your special ability on pets. So if you breed two cats that both have uh, fine resources, you could you know, get something different like detect hostile player or uh, taunt uh, mobs. Now, from what I've read, everyone that's done the penguins, the two free penguins has gotten the special ability auto AFK time reduction, but it's not a guarantee. So I'm really hoping that this happens because if not, it's really gonna hurt me since I AFK fish a lot. But that's something to you know take into consideration when you're doing these pets. So let's see what happens here. Alright, so we got our new penguin. Okay, so he still has auto fishing reduction. 
I brought luck from his parents. 2% life skill gain. So that's how you breed. Unfortunately, I only got tier 2 instead of tier 3, which was what I was hoping for. But what can you do? RNG. And as far as appearance, he looks just like his parents, I think. So that'll pretty much sum it up for pets today. Hopefully your breeding will be a little more lucky than mine. You'll get, you know, up to the tier three on two tier ones. If I missed anything, uh, leave a comment or PM me and I'll be sure to update the comments if I messed up anything or forgot to mention anything really important about pets. I'm still working on uh, Slippy here, the guild. We'll be renaming it on Uno. We do have the gathering and fishing buff. So if anybody needs that, PM or if you want to help with the guild quests. As always, subscribe and thanks a lot for watching.